Hello, I'm Shell. And I'm Pixel. And today we'll be playing some uh, head on uh, pound upon for our slappy slap, sloppy slap fest or whatever we end up calling this. This game was a uh, Nintendo original from the year I was born. That was one when this came out. Uh, I thought we'd, uh, I wanted to do this. So yeah, a, uh, sort of celebration of fighting games by two guys who's never popped a super. Uh, if you're wondering why this isn't we why it's Pound Pond instead of uh Super Street Fighter puzzle mix. Well because I haven't figured out how to uh actually do that two player yet. That's how novice a fighting game player I am. It'll be on it'll be on its way. But for now, let's just play some panel to pond. Let's go. Let's start really. Uh, I have no idea what they're differences uh it's really just which one do you think is the cutest blip versus flare yep. i'm on the right side of the screen yep. and i'm left uh, let's see where oh jeez there is no match here. You gotta make your matches. Ah, Ben Heck. Apparently a Harold upon uh, basement king. Nerd. Now I have a little bit better handle on these controls. Let's see. Uh, any uh, topic you'd like to talk about? Remember, you're you're not too familiar with Seth Rogen movies. Uh, not really. Remember that game I proposed? Uh, yes. I. I give you a description of a Seth Rogen movie, and you tell me whether you think it's real or not. Okay. I'll start off with a nice, easy one. The, he works at a co coffee house with his longtime girlfriend, and he's such a terrible employee that his boss sets up a camera. Uh -huh. And because of that camera, he did. 
he decides he wants to do something more with his career and makes adult films. And that's that camera, after all their hard work, is the one thing that helps them build up that wondrous career. That's Zack and Movie Make Corner. Yep. Here's uh, something a little bit trickier then. Okay. Seth Rogen is the quintessential professor at in terms of who of a party school everyone loves this professor and wants to be in his class so they want after a party they wind up in the woods and meet uh meet bigfoot they offer him some a bong hit and they decide hey all the cryptids throw throw ragers in the woods so the, we'll invite the humans what the where's the oh ah uh. It's right on top. Uh, I'm going to say that second one is fake. Yep. People loved the idea, but it got scrapped immediately because certain people thought Bigfoot needs to be respected. Like, like he's gonna really complain. It's not like he's gonna come out of the literal woodworks and just be like, hey, I don't smoke weed. You ever see that um that chart where it was the uh, the areas uh, Bigfoot has been spotted and the areas where uh, people have fur suits? Yep. <laughs> I really like the idea that it's like one if you like. You know, you zoom in and, like, enhance the f photo of that blurry Bigfoot sighting. You get, like, one of those, uh, generic fursuit, like, dog heads. Yeah, those are always wonderful. And gotcha. Could you imagine if Bigfoot's just some guy in a fursuit who wanted to be left the hell alone? Just wanted to go for a Sunday stroll and ended up as a urban legend. Yep. We break those. Uh that answers my question. I, uh, I don't think I've ever uh, broken one of the uh, gray ones. Well, that's how. 
I guess. Yeah. I guess you just, yeah, you just break them like all the other ones. And yeah, I'm losing this one. Yeah, I'm pretty close to losing myself. Any uh, other ones you'd like to uh, try me on? He's a mad professor who can dimensionally hop and winds up in different movies mm -hmm. universes and explains how to be not to tell you how to be a bad guy but you realize that you're making this needlessly complex Then he explain then he explains what how to do it better. Mm -hmm. That and he's just considered a monster because I'm just trying to get him off my back, not outright kill him. And it's usually for the dumbest of reasons. Yeah. What do you think? Is that a is that a real one or a fake one? Uh, did you give any examples of uh, which universes he ends up in? He's yeah. like, he's, they sound like, uh, like, like, what, does he end up in, like, the James, in, like, the James Bond universe? A, a discount version of that. Okay, I'm gonna go and say that you're talking of, about a not real one, then. Correct. If you could, ah. if you could make a movie, which movie would you make then? I'd make a movie like Barbarella. I could see that. I saw this movie pitch. Mm -hmm. This woman has a kid diagnosed with a a disease. Mm -hmm. So, so she joins up to partake in a video game tournament to win the money for, for the cure. Mm -hmm. And they decide, hey, this is going to be the best way to handle it. 
So she finds a coach, a teenager with born without arms. Mm-hmm. And and this kid actually trains trains her well enough to where they win this esports tournament. I think I've heard a version of this pitch, or at least seen it, where the it's like the kid is a like retired from esporting because he had some sort of injury. Yep. Like, not quite no arms, but just sort of like. I feel like an esports player who games. lost their arms would be. Like the bitter type of coach that would be perfect for something like that. Yeah. Uh, and you can't even tell me I'm wrong on that front. I feel like there's probably uh, various accessories that would still let you uh, play uh, games that, you know, like foot-based controls yeah i'm gonna go play dance dance i'm gonna go play elder scrolls or elden ring with dance dance revolution controllers (laughs) just because you can doesn't mean you necessarily want to if that makes sense i feel like uh Every time those games come out, it's like the race to be the first one to beat it with a guitar, with a guitar hero con- controller. No one's touching Hollow Knight with, with that challenge, though. I'm telling you that much right now. Mm. Ever play Hollow Knight? I, I played a little of it. Or not as much as you. You've seen the what I've what I've taken on and what I have yet to def- who I've yet to defeat. <sighs> Nightmare King Grim can go get stepped on. <laughs> I'll give you an advantage on this one. Double hard. (laughs) This game will last two seconds. God damn it. Super terrible panel panel to pass. I'm about to lose. Fifteen seconds. Shortest round. Yep. Is that? Maybe. Let's go easy on ourselves. I'll give you a bit of an advantage.
Did you know there was originally supposed to be a, a sequel to Barbarella? Really? Yeah. Wow. But uh, for whatever reason, the movie just ended up not being made. Yeah. Shame to hear. Yeah. It's... Yeah, the, that sort of, you know, just old classic horny movie just doesn't tend to be made made nowadays. That sucks. Yeah, the, uh, hey, if they ever decided to do, like, a remake, reboot, whatever, the, you know, there wouldn't be even half as horny as the original. Half as what as the original? Horny. So... The days is, uh, end up being saved because uh, Barbarella sleeps with the villain Duran Duran. As all beautiful things should be. And, uh, side note, that's where the band Duran Duran got its name from. Yep. Too woke to have a lesbian sex scene. Well, they canceled Owl House because, God forbid. Oh, yeah. The bi the bisexual girl find finds a loving lesbian relationship. Mm. Disney's got to think of its uh, bigoted uh, audience just as much as its open-minded one. Oh, you mean the Chinese market? Yep. <laughs> I exaggerate nothing when I think say they are being the most bigoted culture in movies right now. Mm. Even more than like the the God's not dead people. Way more. At least the at least they think at least those people can be satirized. Yeah. Without some sort of legal repercussion from a bullshit. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think about the uh, Raya and the Last Dragon where uh, Wasn't that the same writers as Jupiter Ascending uh, or am I losing it? I'll have to check that in a second but like you had uh one character who is uh, clearly made up to be the uh, lesbian love interest, but only used, you know, American uh, signifiers of lesbianism. Yep. Like her having a shaved head. Oh, you know, partially shaved head. Like the way Solar Opposites is doing its gender. Yeah. 
where Yemulax, the voice by the one one guy who seems to get a part in everything he tries out for. Mm -hmm. And the other one is, I'm obviously a girl, I have Bo. Like... Gender is a bit more off-brand, off-kilter than that anymore. Yeah. Oh, crap. I'm losing this one. Yeah. What piece of alien tech would you want from any thing in the world? Hmm. It'd either be the Urbanizer from Solar Opposites or Rick Sanchez's Garage. Hmm. Uh. I would pick the uh, the POV gun from uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Nice. Oh, this is you do a, a lot of damage with that one. Uh huh. said uh, Jupiter ascending. Yeah. So why? I'm probably wrong, but I feel like that's correct. I remember trying to sit through it, but I fell asleep. Oh crap. Uh, no. Is the uh Yeah the Jupiter sounding it was made by uh the Wikowskis. And I'm not I'm seeing Nary L Wikowski and the eight writing credits for Raya. Uh, understood. Between rounds, I'm playing uh, this Pokemon Go Battle League. Mm -hmm. I've only gotten 27 wins out of the 100 I need for this Pokemon I really want. Why block it behind a hundred wins in Go Battle League is beyond me, but whatever. I'm only winning one in ten yeah. at this point. Mm -hmm. Unless I'm going at weird hours. Mm -hmm. hmm. We're gonna wind up trying a all the fairies at least once. Yeah. Hmm. So, curiosity, yeah. So yeah, what other uh, sci-fi items would you like? 
Like, uh... I know it... I know they label it as magic, but I think it's sci-fi. Mm-hmm. Jake's power set from Adventure Time. Mm-hmm. Mutant? I'm not a mutant. I'm magic, I th think. Yeah. <laughs> oh, crap. Ha-ha! I can't believe I got that to work. Maybe if I picked uh, the if I picked uh, the stand or you could get uh, Miki Takas of Wind and Fire. That would be fun. Yeah. Or honestly, I was disappointed that they didn't with Dio. They didn't use Voltaire. Or like, uh, let's uh, have uh, electricity powers. You know Voltaire's songs, right? When you're evil. Uh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. This is the life you see. The devil tips his hat to me. I do it all because I'm evil. And I do it all for free. Your tears are all the company I need. I don't know what. I'm not sure what a uh, point they would have added a song break to JoJo to have that. Well, having a when lot of uh, musical references, JoJo isn't a musical. He sings in the underworld. Magma plumes fl fly up, fly around him. Imagine a vampire that can control magma. Yeah. I don't care who you are at that. That sounds badass. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh. How did I... Okay, that's witchcraft if I ever I've seen it. GG. Did you know for a fact, did you know that that's that the stand name uh Earth Wind and Fire was once accidentally used twice? There are only so many types of personalities in the world, so... Sure, accidentally. Well, I mean... It's more of a accident of a wacky forgotten that he had already used it for uh, Mikitaka's stand. So. When there's the inevitable... MMORPG. Yeah. Everyone will have a certain type of stain at that point. I can't. When I think that it'll probably be the. Um, like that uh, one um, superhero RP, MMORPG. Like, uh, because I, I know DC Comics had one. Yeah. And I just kind of 
you just kind of ended up being uh, certain classes. So you were like the Flash or like Superman. Have you ever seen he, seen Stan Lee's take on the on the Justice League? I have seen like some details about it, but I haven't read the comics. Flash's speed force is literal rainbows. Mm-hmm. And, oh, jeez. Pretty sure he had, a uh, Batman Wonder had a bat head. Yeah. Pretty sure, uh, Wonder Woman was Spanish in his version. Yeah. It was pretty interesting, if a little bit weird. But that's comics for you. Yeah. And the uh, yeah, but uh, Iraqi renamed the uh, the stand. I got the second usage of Earth, Wind, and Fire to Planet Waves. From the same album. Nice. And I... Do you know what uh, Planet Waves does? Is it a... Less impressive version of Earth, Wind, and Fire. Nope, it's completely different. Huh. So, what Planet Wave does is that it calls in um, meteors. So, oh, uh, like these, uh, I would say like baseball sized meteorites to. You know, strike the user's opponents. And with the added bonus that if the meteors ever get close to the user, they, like, burn up before they can hit them. All the benefits of firing meteors with none of the danger. Lame. Getting taken out by your own meteor, though. Uh, Jolene, the way that Jolene gets around that uh, exploit is that she uses her shoe to catch the meteor and then have it, like, propel her shoe at her, at the opponent. So that they get hit by her shoe. Making big moves, aren't you? Ah. Trying to. GG. We're going to wind up using each of one of the fairies. Oh, they're all very uh, cute and adorable.
have a new uh, topic discussion topic, Mark. Let's hear it. You want to talk about the uh, the thing you fell for online? It was a TikTok. A lot of people fell for it. Blatantly not true. I did not believe it if, for even a millisecond. If Nintendo were... It seems like something Nintendo would pull, though. You can't even tell me they wouldn't. I can tell you they didn't. Because they wouldn't because they didn't. They're not J.K. Rowling making Twitter canon. Oh, oh shit, shit, shit. Get me a pairing, get me a pairing. Yeah, for the listener's sake, I'll say that the... part that the Dupin was some guy on TikTok saying that Nintendo said that Daisy was trans and was in a lesbian relationship with Peach. With inclusivity. Sliced breads, they, them. Everyone's forcing inclusivity into anything, and honestly, with Daisy's personality, you'd believe it. Uh, and a lot of people on Twitter looked up Daisy Trans and did not get what they were expecting. Nope. A grim reminder to us all, screen crabs can be faked. Yes. There are specifically things to make fake tweets and Facebook posts and whatnot. The, uh... The... I mean, for stuff like that, you know, for a lot of people, uh, canon is, you know, not important. And they were just like, oh, like, whatever. Daisy is trans to me. Like, I don't know, I guess I'm just, like, a canon fucker who just actually cares about what's what is real and not real to a series canon okay explain to me how Waluigi fits into Nintendo's lore of the seven star children there then go on I'll wait you why you needed a doubles partner? Then how can he? Then how can he best just about everyone when he's not one of the seven star children destined for greatness? He actually kicked Bowser off the continent that they were standing on. For someone not destined for greatness, he does hold a lot of power. And this is from what game? Mario Party. Sounds more like... Yeah. A thing anybody could have done. Then. It was the year of Luigi. But we'll never have a year Waluigi. He doesn't even have his... Have a... A game series to his own, like... Wario. Not here, anyway. 
a lot of people are mad about, mad at a couple game companies that certain game characters don't get their games over here. Yeah. And it's all about uh, localization. When the, when the original voice actors are willing to learn English so they can have it ported over. Not to make money, but to, so the fans can enjoy it. That's love for, that's love. Oh, yep, that's me. Alright. I'm second the uh Think back to the uh, the topic of uh, Daisy being trans. Apparently, the one thing that a lot of artists do is that when they're drawing the trans version of a character, is that they'll put more like identifiably masculine like characteristics mixed in with the like female characteristics so having things like uh forearm hair and whatnot so so yeah until i've seen that uh drawing uh, my mind is made up to pull a big lebowski that's just, like, your opinion, man. People are allowed to do art in any way, shape, or form they want to. Well, I mean, I'm certain there were uh, a lot of, uh, you know, certain types of drawings with uh, Daisy having certain features before the uh, made up treat was being circulated. There are a lot of people who thought personality wise on personality alone though. <coughs> And that feels like sort of saying that, you know, basically, you, know, you could just say, you know, a character type equals uh, transness, like tomboy, like all tomboy characters are secretly trans. Uh, how so many people think Naruto from Persona 4 is trans because she uh, disguised herself as being male because she wanted to be uh, respected and as a detective
to be fair, that was kind of a boys club system that she found herself in and But, uh, that making her be trans, it's sort of just like, I'm not, my story isn't about the, about commentary on the sexism of Japanese society. I'm trans. Yeah, there are tons of interpretations and all that. Mm. I, I'm not uh, interested in a lot of interpretations of things. There's, you know, there's Uh, there's even an interpretation where of uh, Teletubbies where one of the Teletubbies and uh, Snape have sex. Does that make it a valid interpretation? The internet's weird, and you should know this by now. So that's the, uh... What's the weirdest thing you've seen on the internet? I, uh... I don't believe that weirdness can be quantifiable anymore for the internet because okay. there's literally millions of people online and someone's going to be and so one of them's at least one person posting something insane every minute no every second like You know, you just, uh, challenge yourself to do the, see the weirdest things and slowly kill your soul with it until Remember, you there know. are a couple, there are a couple people who decided to make a learning robot that they connected to the internet and that robot decided humanity's gotta go i was thinking of um you remember uh, tay ai yeah that was fun we're gonna let the internet teach an ai oh it made it racist instantly Not really, not really racist, just, oh. it, it definitely taught it to use slurs immediately. Remember when they connected a bunch of computers to each other to try and get them to teach each other? They came up with their own language, so... They became untrackable. They had to cancel the project and separate the computers. Give them the hardest hard wipe. Computer that can't be 
understood by the user isn't much use to people. Do you think Saitama is endangering humanity in the One Punch Man series? Um, Matt yeah. Pat put out a video. Yeah, that's the most recent one of his brain dumps at this point. Yeah. Uh, right. uh, for, uh, those who haven't seen it, according to him, when he uh, jumps off the moon, that it's very possible that he changed its orbit, thus causing many natural disasters that would eventually uh, wipe out the human race. This is the same type Saitama who got scratched by a cat, and that was the first time he experienced physical damage in the his entire run. Yeah. Must have been a very strong cat. No, this was a normal cat. This he operates on tune physics. I don't care what anyone else thinks yeah. at that point. I do. The, uh, you know, I th the thing I think about is uh, you remember that one time when uh, Krillin <laughs> threw a rock at a sleeping Goku expecting it to uh get destroyed but actually hitting Koku in the face. Yeah. Honestly, there are people who are saying Bulma and Chi Chi are the most dangerous people in mm -hmm. Dragon Ball. We just need a season of Goku and Vegeta, Goku being taught Saiyan lore by Ve Saiyan lore and history by Vegeta, mm -hmm. and all the other characters are losing their shit. Like this explains everything. I'm uh, imagining, imagining that it's like the Dragon Ball Silmarillion. As long as they don't rush it at the end like everyone's favorite anime. And the fact everyone knows in the comment section what I'm talking about. Yes, I, me too, I definitely know which one you're talking about. Fruits, back, fruits basket. Evangelion? Hmm. I'm curious. Mm -hmm. I probably don't stand a chance, but... No. Your screen's gotta lock it up. What 
the fuck up there? Yeah. Have you uh, seen the Evangelion rebuild movies? I don't believe I have. Not recently, anyway. Uh, there's probably a lot of uh, mounting online about the ending to the last one. I think people would have been more annoyed with Digimon Try. Mm hmm. Because what would have been the perfect wrap up in terms of all their series, the ones that people know about anyway. Yeah. Well, the uh, the reason why I say uh, mounting is because uh, Shinji. Uh, ended up uh, in a relationship to a girl, uh, one of the male, one of the female characters. And the male got into a relationship with a female. How scandalous! Well, he's supposed to end up with the with the white hair twink. Cries the entire internet. You know, hetero heterosexuality is just the evil machinations of the writers. Only only gay parents can have true love. Explains the hell out of the Steven Universe stands. Apparently, uh... There's your next JoJo part. Your... Your stand's based on your birthstone. Uh-huh. Garnet, Ruby, Sapphire, Amethyst. Another Amethyst user, huh? How did you know how to deal with my attack? Because I... Because I can do the same shit. Because I am a Virgo! <laughs> you didn't know. You didn't know, but Jupiter is in retrograde. And now my power is stronger. Come on. <laughs> and then some character named Cosmos or something slaps everyone. Okay, this is just getting too ridiculous. What uh, phantom do you think is the most ridiculous? Verbally or mentally? Uh, I feel like one tends to lead to the other. It's got to be the fuzzy picklers then. Is that uh, 
Earthbound? Yes. Right. I'm not aware of these fuzzy pickles. We'll translate it ourselves. Just give us the rest of the Mother series. That or the Yokai Watch fandom. Look at this cool game you made. Can we have? Can we have it over here in the states, please? It's it's a good quality game. Just make it so so us idiot us idiot humans can read it. Uh, I think what made the uh, you won. Yeah, I think the well, the most ridiculous part of that was that they made it like tempting Nintendo to just shut them down, but it's like. Now, all you have to do is, you know, release an official translation, and we'll stop. And they just never did, so. It's, you know, a sad victory. It's the one reason that I thought I would go to college. I did the basic classes, the required ones, and thought, oh, I'm going to learn how to be polite historically, show respect, and do what I need to do to be a translator for... For a, for a game series, apply to Nintendo, get the job, and get games I've been after a couple of years in advance. I fell down that cloud pretty quick when Nintendo started their nonsense. Oh, well, your, your first big mistake was the thought that uh, translators had to be respectful to the material that were, that were translated. Then some idiot said, a villain said Gamergate, oh, but it was the bad guy. Yeah. This is why people don't trust you um, American translators. This is why it's tainted for me. The, uh... Thing of, wasn't it, uh... Uh... Prison school that had that instance of, uh... Gamergate mention? Yeah. Doesn't make it any less stupid that they thought, oh, a bad guy's saying it, so it must be good for them to say. Oh, shit, I fucked that one up. I feel like, yeah, like, I think the other. What makes that kind of stuff so embarrassing is that even if it was like left or right leaning politics, it's embarrassing to have a translator come in and be like, okay, well, you know, the, the writers, you know, did some stuff, but now it's time for me to tell my story and their story. 
Stick to the team four stars. Uh, uh, captions if you're gonna do that bullshit. Have you ever seen one of those Team Four Star movies? Uh, no. They do. They add. They add captions to. Those. They add captions to the one thing. Which are just inside jokes based on that. Bet you twenty bucks that the. That the throne's made out of wood. <laughs> Vegeta mentions it 20 minutes earlier and says, I called it. Because they, they've done, like, actual dubbing work, right? Yep. And Team Poor Star actually shows respect to the animes that they do. Yeah. Even if they add jokes. Like when they did Hamtaro. Mm -hmm. I have a bow in my head here, so that's my only personality. And these, uh, modern, uh, translators show less respect than, uh, than 4Kids did back in the day. And 4Kids on a surface level was good. It just wasn't where it needed to be to... Honestly, Bandit Keith was one of my favorite villains of all time. But honestly, he was a hero more than anything. He got done dirty by Pegasus. Yeah. He called a kid up from the audience who only started playing that card game that day or that week. Wrote something on a piece of paper and followed these instructions and clowned on him like so hard. Yeah. I would have put a gun to Pegasus's head at that point. Uh, in the manga, he did, and Pegasus did some magic to turn his hand into a gun and make him shoot himself. Yeah. Amazing that they allow allow or even need guns in Have you ever seen that one of the main characters use guns in the original Yu-Gi-Oh? They just threw a card and stopped the gun from firing. Yeah. Didn't matter if it was from across the room or point blank, just Witty Phantom jams your gun. Like go cheers. Yeah. So, audience, what do you think of our Let's Play? Let us know if you liked it, didn't like it, think we should go do backflips on tight ropes. Leave a comment, leave a like. Share it to whatever social media you choose to frequent. Looks, looks like Shala took the win here, but we can do a round two and see who wins next time. Yep. Yeah. I hope it's not the, the third one, because I can't even do backflips on solid ground. I can, but... People hate when I do it because I bring the mobile complaint department. Need to file a complaint? Pull my finger.
That was me pretending to bite it with his finger. Anyway, I've been Pixel Cheesecake. And I've been Shala. And we've been gaming with Shala. And we'll, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye now.